All right, guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here, and today we have Biostar launching their B650M silver motherboard for AMD Ryzen 7000 CPUs. NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti gets spotted in Octon Bench. Following up with that, RTX 4070 Ti is already on sale in Serbia. Ryzen 5 5600X is now more popular than Ryzen 5 7600X. And lastly, MSI revealing RTX 3050 Ventus 2X 8GB OCV1. So firstly, we have the Biosur B650M Silver Motherboard. And as you can see, it's a micro 8GB board. Not like crazy, like overclocking capable, but still a very budget-friendly board, I can tell. Though we don't know the pricing yet, but all I can tell this board looks very much entry level and well the power level here is like 12 or not 12 14 phases so again not a huge crazy power uh vram uh, configuration here but still not looking that bad either but uh well biostar is not really popular for you know that kind of crazy overclocking anyway they are more into the budget friendly ones so we might have a budget friendly winner here i believe Still, the pricing is yet to be unveiled. Next up, we have this Octane Bench score here. And as you can see, there are multiple GPUs, and alongside we have RTX 4070 Ti. Only one result, as you can see. And the score it's getting in Octane Bench is 725 compared to 3090 Ti, it's 5% faster. So, not bad, is it? But again, like, it's gonna be. Well, if it's priced well, then I guess maybe it will be like, you know, it would make sense that it would be a good purchase only if it's priced well. Otherwise, RTX 4070 Ti matching, like 5% is not really a, a huge gain. So I would say it's matching RTX 3090 Ti. So, and we already know RTX 3090 Ti really cost a lot when it was in the you know, launch. So yeah, RTX 4070 Ti needs to be priced well to even you know make sense of these kind of performance. Other than that, I, I all I have to say it's just you know competing against RTX 3090 Ti. So not bad, not bad. Just pricing will be the only issue. And following up with that story, we have a 4070 Ti getting sold, and not just one. I mean, actually, in this picture, there's one, but. There are multiple of them, and in Serbia, they're getting sold for, as you can see, 1400 USDs, if you convert it to USD, of course. So yeah, it's it's being sold uh, in absurd pricing, as you can see, 1400, so obviously it's not, uh, it's not the right pricing. We all already know that, because that doesn't make sense. How can it be expensive uh, more than uh, RTX 4080? So obviously that doesn't make sense, but... I'm hoping that the pricing won't be crazy high like RTX 4080. If it is the case, then the benchmark that we saw would really wouldn't really translate well because you know price to performance and price. I mean price to wattage doesn't really matter now. For now, what matters is the price to performance. So if the pricing is right, I I'm hoping that RTX 4070 Ti can attract a lot of people because it can deliver 3090 ti like performance and with a good pricing it can really attract a lot of people just not in serbia for now because 1400 usds is not looking great next up we also have a source from mine factory and they're revealing this and that is that average sold unit for the 76 or not the 7600 the ryzen 5 5600 x was 90 per day Compared to Ryzen 5 5600X, which is only 16. So, it's literally like 6 times the... Or basically, you can say that the 6 times 5600X are being sold compared to one single 7600X. So, as you can see that AM5 not really having a good time. Because obviously, we already know why. And that is the DDR5 RAM and the motherboard pricing for the... AMD AM5 platform is not that good compared to AM4. However, DDR4 very cheap. The motherboards are also very cheap, and not to mention they also support way back B450 and even B350. So people are able to upgrade without worrying about spending too much. But in terms of, well, 
7600X, well, it does show you that it's not looking that great. Or even the pricing for the 7600X, as you can see, is not also not that good. So, yeah. So, it just makes sense that it's not gaining a lot of traction. Next up, we have a very weird story, and that is MSI just launched this, the GeForce RTX 3050 Ventus 2 times 8 gigs OCV1. Now, let me tell you, you also have an OC model here, not the OCV1. So, what's the difference here? Let's look into it. Well, if you look into the CUDA cores, they're literally the same 2560 units, and even for 8 gigs OC, it's also 2560 units. But what is different? is if you look into the OCV1, the power consumption is only 115 watts. That's right. But if you look into the RTX, uh, well, the OC variant, we're looking at a power consumption of 130. And the power connector is 8 pin compared to the power connector in OCV1, and that is only 6 pin. So what is going on here? Well, that's because this is the full flat GA107 uh, die here. But when it comes to OC, the RTX 50, uh, 3050 Ventus 2X 8 gigs OC, that is not the full fat GA 107, rather a cut down version of GA 106. That's why we're looking at higher power consumption here, which is 130 watts and requiring a 8 pin power connector. But for the OC V1 as being you know the more efficient die here, the GA 107. We're looking at only 6 pin that is required, and of course the power consumption is 15 watts lower than the OC variant. So yeah, that's kind of weird that they're releasing it now. I mean, it's very weird why they're doing this, but yeah, it's just an interesting thing that I keep in mind, you know. Though it really doesn't matter, 15 watts is a very little uh, loss or gain, however you put it. So yeah, it's not a big deal. Alright, that is it for today. What do you think about the RTX 4070 Ti performance here? Do you think it's justifiable having RTX 4070 Ti around like $600 or $700? If that is the case, I mean, let me know. But still, I think uh, that pricing is still too much. Because if it's giving me like a 3090 Ti-like performance, but uh, you know, newer generation, so it should be cheaper, right? Because, you know, better architecture. So. What do you think? And of course, Serbia having crazy pricing there, which is, of course, uh, probably a scalp pricing, you could say. But yeah, let's see what happens. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe, and have a good day.